We're going to use Ryan to demonstrate putting the stinger into the truck so that I can talk and explain to you as we go along instead of trying to do two things at the same time. Ryan, go ahead and uh, start that up, please. Now, Ryan's been with us a couple of years, and he's uh, a little bit of everything. He's really a nice young man. He does a walkthrough. Show, the, show that pin. That goes, slides into place, okay? And that locks the stinger, which is the big part he just put in there. And then he puts a clip in to make sure it's going to stay there. And that's really all there is to that part of it. The next part of it, is obviously, is to back the truck underneath on the side here and drop the ball down into place. So that's what we'll do next. Go ahead and fire the truck up and bring it into place. Now, hooking up a trailer like this, whether it's a horse trailer or any other kind of trailer, is a little trickier than, than a fifth wheel because you can't see the ball and the trailer very well. So two, two people is really valuable. Now, folks, we have the stinger, which we showed you how to slide into place. Now, like I say, with a travel trailer, it really is more helpful to have two people. There are folks who can do it by themselves, but it's really nice to have two people. So we have the stinger tied into place. We have a travel trailer right here, but probably not high enough, okay? So you can have, and I would buy, an electric jack that goes motors up and down. You don't have to crank. But in this case, we'll have to crank it up because uh, I'm old and I can do it. But I still would have an electric motor. This is my truck, by the way, which is the same truck that we had hooked up for the fifth wheel. So once you get the process, you can have your truck tow a fifth wheel if you want, set up for a trailer if you want, set up for a camper and put it a camper in a shell. It's all really the same idea. So once you got the truck set up, then you can do whatever you want to do. So I still got Ryan to help him out here. And so Ryan, come on back in. Fire it up. We have to turn it on and off because it's the diesel. So again, he's just going to back it straight into place. And it's nice to get it close like this, getting in and out to make sure you want to go. So come on back, Ryan. He's going to come into place. Whoa. Just a little more. See, it just barely fits. Right there. Now I'm going to crank it down. Whoop, wrong way. Crank it down. And it has to fit all the way on. Take all the weight off, making sure the blocks in this arm pull all the way up on top. Now, when you crank it up like that and it sits down, then you're going to move. Lock this piece forward. Uh, shake the truck a little bit. There we go. Okay, so you would lock this piece down. And you remember this pin faces up and plugs into place. Then you have your chains. And they lock into these clips right like that. Then your safety goes underneath as well. Now your safety, as I explained before, is just in case that one or the other may turn over or something like that, it'll pull apart so that it doesn't hurt both of them, okay? Your truck is heavier, so if there's any danger, this is going to release and plug away. This is called a stinger. This piece slides into place. You put a pin through it. You put your plug in, right into here as we did exactly the same as we did on the fifth wheel. The chains go in and on down here, and you're set up. Now, this doesn't look like a regular trailer hitch because it has the potential of a equalizer weight distributing hitch that might go on here. The service department can determine for you if you need those kinds of things. And the reason we're not hooking it all up is we're not trying to confuse everybody. We're trying to make this, you know, 101 trailer and 101 fifth wheel for those folks that haven't done it before. So we're not trying to overcomplicate it. 
the service department can explain and help you through the whole process. Even if you're the most experienced RVer, there may be new products out there for which uh, you don't know about, so the service department can do that. So, now we're going to unhook it and put it back to where it was. So you're going to crank this arm down. It's always nice to have wooden blocks down below you instead of going into the concrete or asphalt on a hot day because it might sink into the asphalt on a hot day. That's really important. And always the different heights. The trailer and the truck still have to be in a level situation. So the kind of stinger you have even is very important. And again, I would have a motorized thing here instead of that. Okay. Ryan, would you fire it up and pull out, please? Good, right there. Okay, so to reverse the action, because Ryan put it in for us, but to reverse the action, all you do is pull this pin out, pull this piece out, Take your stinger, and you're done. So this is the hitch and the stinger that goes with the trailer.